This is why in life you need to learn all you can. I wish my wife knew that. <laughs> yeah. So um, I've had flex spending accounts. Flex spending accounts, the way I remember them working, is like five or six hundred dollars you can transfer over to the next year. So say if you put two thousand dollars on your card for flex and you only spent fourteen hundred or say fifteen hundred. That six or five hundred dollars you could transfer to next year and you would just lower your flexible upload on your flex card so you know you had to spend that you know so normally people the only reason to do it is aggravating it depends on what flex covers sometimes it covers like blood pressure medicine your medicine supplies um, you know, doctor visits. So say if you was going to have a major surgery and it costs $1,500, you would have $1,500 deducted through your paycheck and it'd come out before taxes. So you could pay for your medical tax, tax free with that money. Well, with a, a health savings account, you can do the same thing, but if you have a lot of money in there, you can invest it in the stock markets, you know, which probably ain't going to do any good, but you can invest once you reach a certain limit and you can use it to pay for your, once you turn 65 or 67, whatever your social security full retirement age is, um, where you get Medicare, I believe you can pay your 200 and something dollar a month Medicare payment. I don't know if it includes part a, B, C, D, or whatever, you know, there's certain things about prescriptions and all. This ain't medical advice, but just kind of what I understand a little bit. You know, there's a little bit to it. But you can use that health savings account to pay for those things. You're not supposed to use it for, like, restaurants or, you know, anything like that. But you can use it for, like, uh, incontinence supplies. Somebody, you know, has to go to the bathroom or medical supplies and, um, can't use it on some things like you can a flex account but you can use it like i hadn't worked there since november at my job that had this account and i still got two thousand on it and um that's how we've been buying our medicine but today my wife tried to use it and she called me all upset this is why you need to know everything so i called and had make sure I'm not speeding. I called and talked to a person, the operator, finally. And I tried to do a three-way. Well, basically what happened is this card ain't supposed to expire until October of 2026. So maybe somebody got their account hacked or whatever. Uh, the card's two years old. So it was supposed to have, you know, another three years. Well, they decided they updated their security features and they just issued everybody a new card thinking, oh, we give them a new card, they ain't gonna be able to use this money and they can take it back. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but maybe not. Cause you know, when these cards issue all these, um, the, all these little cards you can get that you can buy somewhere else. You don't use them. They only last so long. That's like free money. And they got that money tax free and they're getting rich on you not fulfilling your gift cards. So it's probably the same principle. You know, any way they can screw you over or somehow get rich, <laughs> they're going to do it. That's why they're rich. Well, anyway, so I finally got a hold of her, and I had to take off work because here I am trying to work, even though it's slow today, and trying to find out what's going on, and there's like a 25-minute wait. So I'm calling, and the lady says, you know, hey, by the way, your card has uh, been deactivated. We sent you a new card back in June. Well, my son puts his hands in the mailbox. So a lot of stuff he probably thinks is his mail. They check the mail and they don't put it in the same area. So it's frustrating as all, you know what? And then I ain't took my uh, metformin, so I'm feeling a little funky, a little spunky, you know? So, uh, 
I'm not as calm as I normally be. <laughs> but now I'm calming down. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, they're going to send me a new card, but I got to pay for the medicine now. And they said I could send it to have it knocked off what I owe. But yeah, it's just, it's just frustrating. Frustrating to do it. And you got to stay on top of everything. Like, you can't be like you, um, well, my parents, so it'd probably be your grandparents, if you're younger than me, but if you're 40s and 50s, it'd be your parents. You can't be like your parents with a VCR, stayed on 12 all the time. You got to know how to program the VCR and adapt to all this technology. It's not hard. It's user-friendly, but just getting used to the technology so you can be user-friendly. You know, I started driving these cars that are push buttons. You know, and then they got a little a little push button to release the brake. It's not bad. But if you don't know where all that stuff is, it gets you. Some cars want you to have your seatbelt in before you can move them. It's crazy. But yeah, it's uh best to stay informed on new technology and just general dealing with business and my wife bless her soul she does the best she can but something don't work <laughs> siren is going and everything else <laughs> baby take care of it for me all right so i handle all the business because uh she don't understand what they're saying and she just gets flustered but i love her anyway she ain't gonna change. <laughs> but I was like, hey, you're up there. I'm at work. Why don't you call him? Well, I'm got I need something to eat. I'm with my buddy. We're going to eat. My sugar dropping. You come up here and take care of it. <laughs> ah Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. So yeah. So uh you just gotta be able to and all this crazy stuff. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. If y'all watching this one, I'm sharing. It's a vlog, you know, of my life. Got stuck in traffic today. What I'm eating. I'm going to try to get a video of what they're eating. At least, uh, you know, people there in the world get to see the food that's being served in this day and age. And it might change. Especially with, uh, I don't know how it's going to taste. I'm kind of scared to eat it, but... They serve it to you without you knowing. Who knows? They're trying to do all this meat being printed from a printer. and I think they're loading the ingredients in it, but they're just printing it out. So it still, still kind of has the biological meat, I guess. I don't know. Um, could be a science fiction film. But all this food's going to change. You know, they don't want all these cattle just in the slaughterhouses. They just... They'll just take care of them like they are, and who knows, they might just make fake meat. Well, they make fake meat. Maybe they can make fake organs, and who you knows, you might live a long time. You might not. Ain't no telling. If they make it money, it'll work. If they ain't making money, it probably won't work. But yeah, learn all you can. Know all you can. Because somehow, some way, Somewhere, it's going to become valuable information. Just knowledge is power. The more you know, the more it helps you out. Because you're always going to have to know. You have to know to be in the know. <laughs> so take care. Hope y'all ain't being drove crazy as I am. Maybe I trim a beer today. Hopefully I still have a job, but uh, y'all take it easy. This is why all knowledge is relevant. I went to show the guys at the gas station, see, you can ring up a lottery ticket this way. And they said, oh, I see.